What's up guys, my name is Mike BAK Phony. This is a uh, bit of a passion, passion let's play. Uh, this is a game called Alina of the Arena. I've been playing this game for a couple years. Uh, I've got like 50 something hours in it, which doesn't sound like a lot, but you consider like I only play it probably like in 30 minute bursts, 30 to 60 minute bursts. Like it adds up. <laughs> um, it is a, it is, it, it is one of those like um, a buzzword type games when you describe it. Roguelike, deck builder, turn based, tactical, all that stuff, right? Um, but it like it delivers it in a very nice, neat little compact package where you could play in your just one or two runs, uh, or do like an entire streak. Uh, in one sitting and you feel comfortable stopping at any point in time. Also, the diversity in your decks, uh, once you get a lot of unlocks and whatnot, uh, really start to add up. And so what I want to do is go through and do a playthrough and that way I can just kind of, you know, show you guys the game. Uh, and also, you know, just kind of a, a, a kill a little bit of time this morning while I'm trying to record some stuff. <laughs> so here's my run history. Uh, you can see that I've only ever played on veteran. It's not like a brag or anything like that. It's just that this is the reason why I haven't beat the game yet. <laughs> I'm 50, 30, 30 something runs in and I have not yet beat the damn game. But yeah, it's all, it's all freaking. Yeah, exactly. It's all damn veteran. Um, one of these days I'll learn to ease up a little bit on myself. <laughs> so I have a couple of different characters I've unlocked all of them except for one, which I believe you have to beat the last guy in order to right. See what I'm saying? So, um, let's see. We're going to go with today. We're probably going to have to Hunter, Bandit, uh, Mercenary. Mercenary is kind of nice all-rounder. Also, I like his beef up and his hook, rope hook, because it gives you a lot of mobility. You could grab onto a wall or grab onto a character, pull it towards you. Uh, and beef up basically gives you one strength, which is a little bit extra damage. Um, and rope hook is also is pretty, uh, is, is pretty great also because um, it can be used at any point during your turn, whereas... Uh, normally only your, uh, you only get one move and you can only, you can only do it if you do it first. Add just be the first card. Once you play any other card, then that move card ends up disappearing. You'll see as we get going here. So first level slave arena and we'll play through, we'll probably, we'll play through just like one good long play through. We'll see how long I last actually. <laughs> I have to make good decisions. <laughs> Mystery shop. So I have some uh, special coin that you get. I have eight of them actually uh, up here in the upper right corner. These are coins that you earn whenever you beat a run that give you a little bit of a boost on your next run, right? So let me see. Gain one each turn. Receive one hesitation. I've never seen that actually. So there's still things I haven't seen. What the hell? <laughs> What's the hesitation do? At the end of your turn, permanently reduce cost by one. Uh, let me see. Oh, it just it just puts uh, a card in your hand. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. Whenever you move. Hmm. hmm, hmm okay. I want additional card each turn, uh, and this is game one focus at the start of each turn. All right, one additional card and one focus. Uh, actually, I don't like any of these. Let me see. Demon Slayer. Let me see if it's if a, a tough glass and a shield. What does this one do? Increase block by one, gain by one barricade. Key key is, is he, uh, gain three hardy. Increase block gain per cards in your hand by one per stack. Stack decreases each turn. Oh, interesting. Uh, and it gives you three hardy. Wow, that makes me, that'll make me pretty damn beefy. I'm going to get that to start. Um, God, I wish I had a better roll here. I'll get that. I'll put that in my slot here and we'll go and just basically get rid of this. Actually, no, we'll keep this. I'll show you why in a little bit. Let me see. Double take. Clone one card on the top of your, uh, in your hand and place it on in the top of your draw pile. That's a pretty nasty card, actually. <laughs> like a really nasty card. Um, I think I'll take that, actually. And then we're going to do a re-roll here and hope we get something better up here in this corner. Although I could get two things if I were to not be a bitch about it. Although I don't know what hesitation. I don't know if I wanted that. Gain one each turn, receive one hesitation. So wait a minute, if I get, oh, you know what? Oh, how about this? We take, we'll take this, the wolf charm, and we'll take this. So we get an additional card, even though we have one card that's gonna be a hesitation every time we move. Perfect. So we balance it out and we get the one bonus. Yes, excellent. Wow, we spent everything without wasting anything on a reroll. Awesome. That's a good start. So you have to complete five five uh, 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 encounters before you unlock the champion, right? Five fights to face the champion. Um, and usually what I do is I try to map it out here. So I go one, two, and then three, and then I can go over here and go four and five, and that'll give me access to basically all of the events and all the special things, except for what's this arrest back here in the back, which is fine. So let's go right into a fight here. Okay, now I, I, I exclusively play this on my Steam Deck, so I'll be kind of like, <laughs> I might be fussing around with some of the keys and shit, but <laughs> let me see. Right away, we got Beef Up. We have a uh, ability to move. These guys have a grab they're going to do right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to counter that by killing one of them. Go drop this on me. Strength one gives me a seven. Uh, it's one giving me a seven for one of them. So let's see one. Oh, actually, no, it lasts. Cool. Perfect. And we'll go and slap this thing here. 
And I don't really have a way to get away, so there's no grab of anybody that I could do to kind of escape. So what I'll do is I'll take this shield, and I have one strength, so does that could give me two? Dang! Oh, so close. That's why I kept the shield, because the shield gives you, you know, basically an extra, um, uh, get an extra way to cause damage, essentially. And there's also, um, there's also, what were they? They, I think it's one of the bracers or something like that. One of those, uh, accessories that makes it so that you don't, and we go and kill this thing. And then I'll just go and shield up here. And let me see, double take card. Let me take this card, put it on top. There we go. Then we have an extra. And then I'm going to go and just shield up, block that. And then we do a little one hit here. But yeah, I had an accessory that made it so when you throw, uh, weapons or whatever basically you could throw almost any weapon or shield um, Then it doesn't actually destroy the item because whenever you, whenever you throw something it destroys the item uh, And that made for a very interesting run because I was basically just like throwing shit left and right and I was keeping everything And it taught me that keeping keeping everything keeping your slots full here is very very valuable Because you never know when you're gonna need one or two more damage on something <laughs> To finish the job breathing technique so something else to learn there's, there's blue and there's red. Blue is for my right hand, and then red is for my left hand. You can see down here, rusty sword, and then blue shield. So, if I get a shield thing for my left hand, I'm not going to get the bonus that my shield would give, right? So, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and do, let me see. Focus, equal to 25% damage, but does not consume focus. Focus is a very interesting mechanic um, that can add up very, very quickly if you do a lot of small attacks, right? Uh, that to help you build up focus, right? So, huh. Uh, I'm gonna go for the more more a uh, more uh, defensive approach here. So rusty dagger, we take that spear potion. This is great. It basically bypasses armor, which you're gonna face a lot of armored individuals. And the way the armor works is, whenever you uh, deplete an enemy's armor, the armor stat, then uh, it becomes a uh, then then it, 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 it's what does it do? It gives them a but um, ah, damn it. Ah, what was it called? It's a fucking brain fart, man. Um. I think it goes immobile and stun. I can't remember if it's immobile or stun, but basically they can't move or can't do anything. All right, so we got guys over here. We got guys over here. We got guy over here. So let me see. What do I have here? I have, I'm going to do a move. Do I move or do I? Should I? I, I get that hesitation then if I wanted to. i will take care of this guy and that guy. I can't move in a position where I could grab two guys, unfortunately. So I'll go like this. We'll just basically finish off one. There's my hesitation. I'll go and play that hesitation. And then I'll move over here, and I'll turn around, whack this guy, and then that's it, I'm out. So he's going to get a little bit of damage. Up. Nope, just kidding. That's why you keep it. <laughs> Perfect example right there. Um, I'm not going to be able to reach this guy in this move, so I'm going to go ahead and move over here and grab this ward potion, which gives me a magic shield, which is awesome. Uh, we'll get rid of that, and then double take. Let me see what I'll put. I'll put this on top. There we go. That way I have it available. And then uh, for everything else, I guess we'll just go and wait. Wait for this guy to move over to my, my position here. And then, let me see, one, two, three with a beef up. That's why we get it. Then one, two, oh, two, and three. Perfect. Perfect. Those rocks are handy too, by the way. Those rocks that get thrown into the, into the arena from the crowd, which, by the way, you probably noticed have been talking a lot of shit or a lot of supportive things, uh, which is a very, very cool feature. <laughs> Let's see, lose four HP, gain one. Oh, okay. Mm, cost is non-lethal. Yikes, I want to... Hmm, I don't know about that one. Uh, keep unused energy. That'd be kind of kind of nice, but this one, deal 18 attack, self-exhaust. No, no, let's just do conserve. I never use conserve, but because we're starting to get into, like, having extra uh, uh, extra energy, then I'm going to start with that. So we'll take this so we can throw it later. <laughs> they don't sell for very much. Like, most armor and, and weapons, they don't sell for hardly anything, so it's not really worth it to keep it around for uh, for that. For two, two gold or something like that. <laughs> So we have an elite here and a non-elite over here. I have plenty of health and everything. I don't necessarily need to like to unlock all these things or do let me see meditate, create, forget, or switch. Let's go ahead and do um let's go ahead and do this then. So create, forget, switch, switches if you want to switch colors, like I told you guys. Um uh forget, just get rid of a card. It's pretty standard for deck builders, and then create. This is, you know, we'll make a new card basically. Uh, shield charge, faint, cripple. You know, I have a pretty good let me see, Barry can keep half your block this turn. I have a pretty good amount of uh, oh, there's another focus thing. Hold on, let me look at my deck here. This game's really trying to get me to use focus here. <laughs> Should I fall for it? No, 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 no. Uh, do you turn damage? Let me see. Just do shield charge. Just give me some mobility here. I'll take that. I got a lot of shield stuff anyways. And this thing upgrades to... You can see the upgrades here. Let me see. Charge one tile to knock back to... What's the difference? Hold on. What? Oh, just the cost difference is much cheaper. That's fine. That works for me. All right, into another fight. Let's go. 
Okay, plus fuel bomb. This thing's gonna throw a... Uh, I have to get close to it. But it's gonna throw a damn bomb. It's gonna do some damage, AoE damage. And, and, and it does it in a, in a circle around you like this. So you can only move one square. So that's why I gotta start moving towards it now. Try to take it out before it gets... Uh, uh, before it can get that off. So, let me see. I'm gonna slap this dude. Or should I... Hmm, hold on. Let me see. I could conserve a lot right now. Keep on using energy. Will this end the turn? No, it doesn't. Good. I could use this, just one of these. And we'll keep the hesitation as the end of your turn, return to reduce cost to zero to, by one. Okay, cool. So we'll keep that. I'll keep two. Just looking around here. Yeah, let's do that. Play a little bit safe. There, see, there's our pustule bomb. So this is why we have to take it out now. But I have six. So I should be able to definitely. Yeah, here we go. See, shield charge. Ooh. Oh, man. Um, let me see. I could do this. And then I could shield charge that guy. I could shield charge this guy. It's gonna be three. Let me see. And then it does more based off of the block that I have, right? Let me see each block. Hmm. Hmm. I could do one, two, and then three. Beef up. No. Let me see. It's free once I use it. So I'll go ahead and spend this just to up that damage. 17 now. Perfect. Boom. Moves in that position. Oh, I forgot. It puts me in, in its actual position too. Shit. Forgot about that. All right, so let's go and play his fatigue cards and his hesitation. Get it out of the way, and uh, we'll keep a shield for now. Now, nah, throw it at this guy. Just let him know what's up. <laughs> All right, moving in now. 18 damage. I could get that with three attacks. Oh damn it! Only have two. Let me see. Three, and then I can also block. So perfect. So I'll do one, two, oops, two, and then uh, I should do double take for something for a hook. Maybe I could use the hook, and then I could use it again. Be kind of fun. The dagger right here. Hmm. <laughs> I have I have my my seven shield already. I could play some games here. Let's try this. Boom, and then confirm for that. A rope, a rope hook. Oops. Rope hook my way over here. Grab this rock. Put it in my bag <laughs> for next time. Play that card. Here we go. Let him move in. Nice. Gonna give me a snag here. That means no damage. So that means I give him a good slap. I can move over one. Let me see. I got my rope hook too. Oh, oh actually, with my rope hook, I could. Let me see, I can slap this guy down, and then I can rope hook that guy back over to me. Can I reach that with a rope hook, I wonder? One, two... No, I wouldn't be able to reach him. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. So I'm gonna go for the, the opportunity here to get both of these guys. So we'll do a beef up, and then we'll do this guy. He's rip, and then this dude. We'll start beating on him a little bit. He's gonna be able to get um, a snag off on me, which is fine. I got a rock here. Come with a rock. Come with another rock. <laughs> Um, let me see. I guess I could move out of the way. What is that? Root potion. Nah, let's go over here. There. Let's not give him the pleasure. We'll take that dagger. Okay, so now he's gonna move forward one. Or, let me see. No, let me see. Uh, there's gonna be one, just one slot. Okay, one move there. I'll move here. And then, let me see. Ooh, 15 deflect. <laughs> give me a killer fuck. Oh, I can't. I can do both. Ah, oh, I can't do both. All right. Well, at least I gave this one free. I bash this guy into the wall. Do I go through him? I do. Okay, I wasn't sure if I would. <laughs> so one, two, and three. We can get rid of those. Or we can conserve. Let's conserve. And we'll just keep those cards and see what happens here. This is one more guy. So we'll get three three cards probably in this one. Three red cards. Oh, good. <laughs> I was sorry. Three of the fatigue cards. My luck. Uh, but no, we're good. Cool. So we're just going to basically play this guy out. See you later. See you later. See ya. And that's it. Done. Easy, easy. All right, Retribution, Deadly Touch, Money is Power. This is a very interesting skill. 5% of your goal to deal an equal amount of damage. Um, I don't tend to spend a lot of money when I play these runs. I usually end up like, kind of stashing a lot. And also, that money turns into... Uh, uh, it, it turns into those purple coins I showed you guys at the beginning of the episode here. So, let me go and get that. So, any residual you get basically ends up, you know, paying back in dividends there. So, let me see. Uh, Crow, uh, you know, that's two damage. I think I'll th throw it for more damage. And I haven't used these yet. Let me see. Which one is this one? This is the, uh, let me get this out of here. Root potion, spear potion. Okay, through armor, yes. Ward potion, that's a straight up shield. Uh, and then root potion, immovable. Nah, okay. We'll swap this for the crossbow. There we go. And, and yeah, we're just constantly raking in money. So, as long as we're not, like, spending it, we're in good shape. Now, did that ruin my thing? One, two. Nope, we're good. We're going to get basically everything. Nice. Event. You guys have seen this before. Upgrade random card. You get basically a story. Then you get a choice. 
And then usually the choice is like one benefit, one detriment, and then, or you could ignore it or whatever, whatever combination of things. So you train with them, upgrade one random card, receive muscle pain. That's easy. It was just basically a card that sits in your, in your hand and then you'll play it off whenever it, it depletes, which is every turn minus one, you get rid of it. So let's see, gain 120 gold, lose 80 HP. Oof, man. Now nah, I want to upgrade a random card. Oh, that was kind of a weak one, but all right. Yeah, muscle pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I see shop cards, items, meditate, create, forget, or switch. Let's go ahead and go to create. Let me see. What we get zero zone. This is a very oh, another money is power. No, 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 because it costs money to use it, so we can't use. <laughs> we can't get it again. Heavy rain. Ooh, ooh. This one is super cool because if you had the more you have, then the more you get to use, right? Draw random heavy rain from the pile and reduce cost to zero this turn. So if I have you know, more than one, then it will continue to cascade, which is the point of the rain, right? Function of it. Um, uh, zero zone, though, it probably might be the best opportunity here. Or slam. Charge two tiles forward. Uh, this one doesn't actually give me my, my, my energy back if I use it. So um, let's try heavy rain. Uh, it seems kind of a, like a weird one to do, but because we're going, we have kind of a defensive build started here. Let's go train. And we're going to take it. We're going to take uh, one of these cards and we're going to make it. Uh, let me see. What's beef up do? Gain two strength. Gain two strength. Hmm. Double take. Does it make that free? Sure does. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, that makes that two for the shield charge. What does this do? 10% uh, of your gold uh, equal amount of damage. Damn. That makes that thing a nuke. Really does. And the miss. This makes it 11. Jeez. Oh, man. Uh, uh, let's let's make this a nuke, man. This might be our our, 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 our saving grace. We just have to be sure not to spend a lot of money. That's really it. <laughs> Cards or items? I uh, see. I already have all my items. Except we could get a bracer maybe or something. Let me see. Oh, that's right. We could upgrade our stats. Yes, yes, yes. Um, let's let's upgrade. Oh man. Do they have a another sword here? No. Hmm. I don't want to spend my money now. See, this is the problem, right? You get in here and you're like, oh, let me get this. Let me get that. And then you're like, oh, but money. <laughs> nah, let's just go ahead and just let it go. Let's let it go. We'll go fight and then another shop. No, we'll go fight over here in an event. Let's do elite. Ooh. Let's do elite while we have uh, all of our health. This guy's going to stay in his corner over here. I've done this fight. Uh, I think it's the same fight every time you get your first, or in, in the first uh, stage. So that guy's going to stay over there until these guys are, are done with, dealt with. Uh, but I'm going to start moving in his direction. Start taunting him a little bit. And then here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a double take here. I'm going to double take for my conserve. Take that. And then uh, I'll conserve here. Saves me two. And uh, I'm not going to spend any of that. Good, good, good. Let me see. He's going to put on a shield here, which is where that, that uh, spear potion is going to come into play. Two turns worth of piercing. What does this thing do again? Three hardy. Oh, that's right. Keep your block. Yeah, I got to remember to use that. I don't really roll shields too often. So I'm going with kind of a slightly abnormal build from what I typically do in these. So he's got his, he's got his shield up now. I have my conserve ready to go. And I have... Um, well, he's not ready to do an attack yet, so this is really, really risky. <laughs> Pull him towards me, uh, and then beef up, deflect with our boost, pierce. Should I do a pierce for the first attack? Hmm, maybe not because I don't have enough attack cards in here. Beef up is something I wish I could keep for the next run here. Hmm, should I make him chase me or do I chase him? Let's go to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to him. We'll beef up. Um. Damn, I wish I had another. I wish I had more attack cards. Strength. Oh, does he match your your, your stuff? I think he does. Okay, cool. So we hit him with a seven here. This goes right through the shield. Or armor, rather. Pride, prideless scum. You asked for it. Yeah, now he's going to be super mad. Whatever. We could conserve. We can move and then conserve. Let me see. I can't really move anywhere, actually. See, we'll just conserve then, because he's not going to attack right now, so we'll do that conserve. I'll go and spend that hesitation to get rid of it. Uh, when magic shield, I don't need it because he's not going to attack us yet. Cool. Yeah, I wouldn't spend anything yet. Here we go. Pierce still up. He's got 17 damage coming in. I have a guard. That was my fancy guard here. Let me see, which is going to boost my shield charge. I have six damage I can work with. This really paid off. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. And I still have Pierce, too, actually. So this is going to be detrimental to this guy's fucking lifestyle. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. One. Um, let me see. Two. And then we'll hit him with 22. That's going to hurt. It's going to definitely be 
stunned probably against that wall. Good. And then one, two, and three. That keeps him out of the game for a second. And we go one, two, three. Take care of this guy on the left. Look at that. And then, oh, we didn't have to play the bear. Keep half your block for this turn. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, does it actually, does it automatically do after you play the card? I wonder. Uh, I don't know about that. Play that fatigue. Get, out of, uh, get that out of here. Let's see, 19. We see, 9. Oh, cool. It does. You just have to activate it. That's it. It's done. I guess. Let me see. Did I have two of those? Was it two and one? So the top over here in the bottom right corner, you see it has a flame and then it has a shield. The flame is how many times you can use that power move. And I forgot if it was two or one on that one. But I have half my shield, so I'm going to go ahead and say it was probably two. <laughs> so let me see. This guy's still stunned. I could take out his friend here. No problem. Uh, if I had two heavy rains, I could go ham on him too. Um, let me see. We'll just do this. Do I have pierce still? Um, let me see. Pierce strength. No, I don't have pierce anymore. But it's fine. We'll do some shield damage. We're going to go for another stun. He's going to come out of a stun now. We got 20. He's got 20 he's going to hit me with. Sure, man. Oof. Oof. Mm. I can hit him with the money, but damn. Hmm. Let me see. There's a spear here. Oh, oh, interesting. Interesting. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Watch. Uh, let me see. I'm trying, not to, I'm trying to save some money. That's basically what I'm doing here. Stinger, I'll put this in my hand. Uh, 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 is it let me? Yeah, good. And this has a two reach. So now I could go and stab this guy from a distance here. Sucker. Play that card. And then I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pull myself anywhere. Nah. There's another spear right there, though. <laughs> Just start chucking spears at this guy. Uh, glass and shield. Yeah, sorry, it's in my bag now because of that. And yeah, rusty swords on the floor. Let's go and swap that for that because I don't want to keep that. And I should just go and throw this at this guy. There we go. Perfect. See, money's power. Uh, that will stun him right now, actually. Nah. I can finish the match with the gold. I lose the gold. Nah, it's going to be patient. Patient, patient, patient. Let's play his fatigue card. All right, moving in. 13. I got to just do a little bit of damage, guys. Come on. See, I could do I could do it. Here we go. So we'll do you. We'll do a shield. That gives me 10. Oh, I can't afford it now. Oh, shit. That's right. Fuck. <laughs> uh, magic shield. He's going to do 24 fucking damage. I'm going to have to play that magic shield card. Dang, I totally goofed on, on my math here. Let me see. Uh, do I hit him now? Do I? Let me play this card and get it out of here. Yeah, I don't have my shield on either. I haven't done an attack yet, though. So I could. Well, it's not going to give me any bon bonuses. Let me, just go, let me go and just play this magic shield here. That'll just give me at least... Some reprieve here while this guy's beating the hell out of me. And we'll, we'll save that last that last thing there. So he hits me. Basically does nothing. Beautiful. 13. Give me two attack cards, guys. Oh my gosh. It does not want to give me attack cards. <laughs> it is freaking messing with me right now. Um, Let me see. Let's go ahead and swap. I don't need the... Yeah, I'd rather take the shield. 25 damage. Shit. 10. Yeah, it's not enough to do to do what I need to do. Alright, let me back up a little bit. Give him some space. Uh, let me see. I'm going to activate that so I could play this and I'll keep that that money. Um, I guess I could have probably kept the stab. Uh, uh, the I could still... Yeah, I could poke him here, right? Let me see. Heavy rain. Uh, oh, no. I used the shield, so I can't do it. That's right. Let's just throw it at him then. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of some of these cards here. Uh, fatigue, hesitation. No, we're gonna conserve. We're gonna conserve. These cards go away after we after we end our turn, anyways. And end our turn uh, after we win the match. Oh, what the hell? Oh, come on, dude. No. Oh, I don't have a way to get over there very quickly either. Wait, is this gonna be two slots? No, just one. Oh, that's gonna be costly. However, it's costly, but um, it will get me in the, in his face, which is what I want. So I can hit him with this, hit him with uh, one of these, hit him with one of these. Boom, perfect, stunned. And then we finish him off in this round. One, two, done. Beautiful. Beautiful! Listen to the crowd, she did a great job, thank you. Change tactics, reinforced gear, hunkered down, raise shield, and vigilance. I wish that vision was blue. Gain six block, draw one card. It'd be great if it was blue. Gain three plus uh, zero block. Increase uh, gain block by two each time the card is played this fight. Oh, that's cool. Huh. Wow, I guess it beats a fat shield, huh? I kind of like that. The other weapons gain one additional power move this fight. This is an awesome card if you have a 
um, I had a sword that every time I slay, it was like a blood sword or something. Every time I slay an enemy, it gains one attack. And so I would use this so that way I would get an extra roll on that, you know, that, that power skill that was attached to that weapon. And so I was able to double the opportunity for me to raise that weapon's ability every run. Uh, I thought for sure that was going to carry me to a victory, but it ended up not. So, you know. All right. We'll get the, bl the blue shield here. <laughs> Spear, let's take it so we can throw it. Fortune potion. Just cost one random card in your fight. Yes. And see, we didn't have to spend any money. We have 251 now. Uh, let me see. We got an event here. Let's go ahead and go to the event. Let's see, a host comes up to you, starts complaining about the lack of spectacle in recent matches. Oh, come on. More physical clash. You take six hit hits to receive a small health potion. A uh, small health potion. Five hit combo to receive a, a health potion, and then deal fifty damage in a single attack to receive a large health potion. Fifty damage in a single attack. I could do that with my money thing. A large health potion is thirty five HP. Let's try it. All right, one more. It's going to be this one so we can have access to the shop, even though we may not use it. Let me see. This is to help heal or train. We'll save that just in case I get fucked up on this last fight here. All right. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Nice. Lots of attacks. Uh, I have a couple guys doing attacks right here. Uh, I could kill both of them. No problem. It'll put me in a lock position, though, because of the snag. It's fine. I can deal with that. One. Two. Hit them with it. Just like that. Good. All this stuff coming on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how I'm going to do a 50, right? Was it 50? Let me see. Deal six in a single attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six is the highest I've gotten so far. <laughs> I'm about to really save it up. And it's probably going to be a shield bash or something. All right, yeah. Hit me with a snag, guys. It's going to be like a shield charge like this. Raise shield. So each time the card has played this fight. So I say we play it because that's the only way we're going to get the shield charge up. Is this, does this exhaust? It does not exhaust, so we could use it more than once if we want to. Beautiful. Uh, and it's free if I use it right now, too, by the way. Uh, I could add cards to it, but then I would lose the power to use it. Let me see. This guy's going to attack. Let me push him into the guy behind him. Oh, oh, I, oh, snag can't move. Duh. Shoot. Okay. Well, then I'm just going to slap him. <laughs> and I'll put a big old shield there. Uh, let me go and keep my, keep my shield through this turn. Hold on a second. Let me see. One, one damage. Oh, man. That's not really worth it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take it. Good snag. Ooh, boy. This is going to suck. <laughs> 25. Oh, man. Come on. That's my biggest thing. 10% <laughs> of the amount of gold that you have. All right. What do I do here? I don't really have a... Oof. I don't really have a get out of jail free card here in this one. Let me see. Um, Reduce cost ran a card in your hand is zero. That's not really going to help me too much. I can't move at all. I can't snag. I think I'm going to take damage this run here, guys. <laughs> I have five shield right now. Should we just play it play safe? Shield up, shield up. That gives me enough to withstand uh, both of their attacks. We could go ahead and uh, we could kill the snag on this guy. Um, Let me see. Double take. We're going to put this money on top just in case. Just in case. And then let me see. Reduce cost random card. It would be this one if I wanted to. But then again, I'm throwing away money if I do so. Let's go ahead and end it here. All right. Nice. No damage. Damn. Damn. Yeah, this is never going to get higher than this. <laughs> that shield bash is definitely going to be my only way out of this one. God, I'm still freaking locked in. I'm going to have to use my money. Even if I use this. So reduce cost of random card. Yeah, that's not going to help me at all. All right. Let me beef up. Let me see. Is that going to do much? Hmm. Oh, man. Hmm. I'm trying to think, of, is there a way for me to get out of this without taking any damage? It doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Two damage there. Two damage there. Nope. Yeah, I have to wield, wield some money. Let's do it. Get, that guy's broken. Can't do anything right now. So, <laughs> And then we'll uh, we'll spend that muscle pain and get rid of it. Uh, conserve. Doesn't matter. Rope hook. Doesn't matter. Um, well, I'm not snagged anymore, so I guess I could... Yeah, I can't do anything. Can I grab that rock and bring it over here? No. God, that'd be great. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go ahead and hurl this thing. Get out of get it out of here. I got weapons on the ground I'm gonna pick up for the next run. And then reduce cost of random thi no, nope, good. Alright, so I'm gonna take a little bit of damage here. No, 59 health. Alright, and this is the end of this this these guys, I think. Let me see. Well, not quite. Guard, uh, is my good my good guard that got upgraded. 
There we go. There we go. We'll go play it for fun. He's gonna come out of it and be like, what and what in the earth happened? And I'm just gonna hit him with this. See you later. Ready for that champion fight. Let's go. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Failed. Nothing happens if you fail, I guess. Muscle memory, select one card from your hand that costs more than one. It reduces to one, cost this fight. Ooh. Faint, that's focus. See? See if I was going for focus, man. Apply weak to all enemies. That's kind of a dope card, but I'm gonna try this one. I haven't seen this one yet. Or I haven't played that one yet. Yeah, here we go. Card here. Uh, weakening trap. That's pretty nice. And then short bow. Well, we could throw it, I guess, but I'd rather keep the fortune potion. All right, so our last shot before we go in. Um, or, or wait, let me see. You get 20, I get 20 HP right now. I'll get 15 if I were to uh, use one of these two. If I use both, I'll get 10. So I guess I might as well go and use both because I have 59. So it'll be 69 health. It'll be fine. Nice. All right, uh, heal, train, go train. What was the other card that I was eyeballing? What's it, what's it do when you, uh, let me see. Two cards from your hand. Damn. It makes it zero? It makes it, oh, to one, to one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clone card, that's been very handy. Beef up. Uh, let me see, two strength. That's been kind of coming in handy. And that lasts for a couple turns, too. Let me see. Ray shield. Five. Ooh. This was tripped us up a couple times. Let's go ahead and get this one upgraded. All right. Shop. Shop or... Yeah, shop. Let me see. Items, cards. Maybe we'll get lucky with a card. God, they're so expensive. I can take my money. So yeah, we could switch cards. We could remove cards. We cannot duplicate cards. I wish we could. War Cry. Oh man, that's such a good card. I'm taking it. I know. I know. This goes against everything I've said so far this run. I'm, I apologize. We'll make it up. We'll make it up in the, in the champion fight here, which I'm definitely going to win. I, should, I don't know if I should, why I said that. Oh, this guy. That's, yeah, yeah, this guy's kind of a bitch. Kind of a bitch. He's, he's painful, but let me see. You're traveling two tiles, too weak, immobilized. I wonder if I should weaken and immobilize him for this. Let's see. No, I don't have a play. Cost more than one, reduced to one. It exhausts if I use it, though. I don't know if I want to necessarily do that yet. I could break his shield with some money. <laughs> um, Let's do that. Let's try to end this quickly. Let's see. We'll spend some. Oh, first, sorry. First, we'll beef up. So we could throw money harder, I guess. <laughs> and, and actually, you know what? Fuck it. Let, let's, since we're going in on this, let's go and play this. I can play two cards. Uh oh. Wait, what? Did I do that wrong? Hold on. Let's see, it's like one card from your hand that costs more than one. Oh, oh, from your hand. I thought it was from the deck. Oh, I'm so dumb. All right. Damn. I don't know if that card's worth it anymore. <laughs> uh, Let's see. Let me see. 18 is 7. That's the only way I'm going to get this guy to stop swinging. Hit him with some money. We should throw some shit at him. 3? No, okay, it's not enough. Sometimes you get lucky. Oop. There. Stunned. And then we could go through to the next. All my cards are 1s and 0s. That's why it's, now I'm like wondering why I picked that card. <laughs> One trance. 50% damage. I freaking no cards, man. Let's do this. Play double take. Get that in there. Then we can play it now. We could give him a good slap. This guy's got a lot of bullshit coming up here. We'll play this card just so we can have it played. Play this. We're going to go and activate that. Let me see. And then, you know what? Let me see. We're going to card into zero. Let's do this. There. Now we have a lot of shield going into this next turn. Because he's going to start swinging here in a second. Or he's going to do that. <laughs> Attack range plus one. This is where it gets very, 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 very uh, uh, painful. So, we want to move in close. We'll use the rope hook to move in close. God damn. Good thing I have that, that uh, shield saved. Yeah, yeah, rope hook. Rope hook his ass. There we go. Okay, war cry. We saved that for a reason. 13, 30, 31. One. Two. Oh, come on, two. Three. Broke his shield again. Stunned again. Play this here. Should we throw this thing at him? Four. Why not? We got to get through all that health somehow. He's a meaty boy. Still stunned. We're going to keep on working on it. We see shield charge. Ooh, baby. That's why we dropped it down to two. We can pull this up to Fleck. Now we got 30 on this one. Kablam. And it's free. <laughs> Basically free. Let um, me see. 134 now. Um, mm, mm, mm. He's going to come out of this trance. He's going to jump. I'm going to hit that conserve. 
And then I'm gonna go and throw that shield up, just to have. And let's go. Now he's gonna jump, push me back. Strength's up, 21 damage coming in. Now let me see, I can block that 21 pretty easily. Now this cost me one now because I already used it once. God damn, look at all this shield. If only, if only I could save this for one more round. If I had one more power on this thing. Oof. Well, let's go ahead and eat it. Let's go move up. We'll do a little bit of damage. And then we'll we'll raise this up. We'll raise this up. <laughs> we'll go and play the hesitation. Get rid of that. Let's see what happens. Moves in on me. Nice. I still have 11 left. War cry, war cry. Ooh, and a beef up. Oh my gosh. Um, uh, well, I can't I have nowhere to go. So yes, we are going to do this. 12. Oh, not enough to, not enough to break a shield though. Oof, 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 oof. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take a hit here. We lost about 10 health. He's now he's out of breath. Fatigued. Perfect. He's going to be fatigued for two turns, I believe, this one and the next one. Maybe. Okay, 15. Raise shield. Beef up. We'll play the beef up. 13, 13, 16. Boom. That breaks the shield. He's now immobilized. Uh, we can hit that. And then we'll go throw the shield on for fun. Barricade. He's still out of it. 111 health left. It's not going to be that big of a deal. We're going to play that. We'll play. Let me see. We'll play one more. One more for the shield charge. Just want to look and see. Make sure there's nothing else I could do here. Okay. Get shield charge in. 28. Nice. God, I'm whooping this dude's ass. I love it. Love it. He's going to snap out of it now. Do his jump. Push me back. Okay. Huh. Now I have a lot of cards I should probably start to filter through here. Like these fatigues and all that. They're just taking up slots for good cards. So uh, I think I'm going to step back. I'll step back. Um, what is that? Health potion small. It's not really necessary right now, but I'll move back in this direction. He'll move right here next. Uh, so I'll put a trap there. Mobilize him. And then, uh, let me see. We'll get rid of the cards now. So this one, this one, and this one. God, I wish I could keep this one. I'll just go ahead and conserve, and we'll hold on to this, and we'll see what he does next. Should move into my... Oh! <laughs> Dang it! Okay. Well, I could still I could still bait his ass. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 11, 43. He has a lot of, he has a lot of shield. Jesus. Okay, I have no conserve. I'm going to get rid of that. War cry, yeah, for one turn. I don't think it's, I don't think it bleeds over to the next turn, but I'm going to play it anyways. Okay, where are you going to go, man? Oh, you're out of, oh my god, now you're out of breath. Oh, duh, two moves and then he's out of breath. I'm so stupid. <sighs> okay, I'm not going to be able to get to him in time in order to do some damage here, but I'm going to try it anyways. Throw some shields up. Yeah, here he is. Oh, man, right in my face. <laughs> oh, shit. 25 damage coming in. Oof. Um, let me see. We'll play a shield, play a shield. I'll uh, play a hesitation, get rid of it. I'll, I guess I'll hit him. <laughs> That's all I can do is just hit him. From there. And then conserve. Is that the conserve? Take a hit. Ooh, stunned. Ooh, that sucks. Adds another card. Let's see. A shield charge. Ooh, cost three for the shield charge. Let me see. I have no shield right now. Sorry, sorry. Three. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to get hurt here in a second. War cry. Conserve. Mm. Can't really move out the way. The stun is what hurts the most. If I play the stun, I won't be able to play that. Let me play. Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll play this. I'll boost this. I'll give him a little knockaroonie there. And then. <laughs> oh, I should play the war cry. Oh, dang. I should have played the war cry too. Shit. Um, yeah, I just I'll get my shield up. And yeah. Damn, damn, damn. War cry. Conserve means shit. Do I hit him and then just like, let me war cry 13. At least I'll get some good damage out of this. But not enough to do what I need to do. Conserve. Should I save conserve? No, that stun's going to chill here. Move from the deck. Uh, permanently eliminates. Cannot be stacked. Let me see. Does not self-exhaust. None of these self-exhaust. So they're going to basically recycle um, every opportunity they have. Let's get rid of the stun at least. And then we'll conserve. We're going to take a hit here. Now he's out of breath. Good. Yeah, I made a mistake not counting how many times he was moving. Otherwise, we would have finished this already. War cry. Beef up. One, two, three. Just brutal. Get that in there. There we go. 
Okay, 26 health. Uh, God damn, I have a lot of shield cards, guys. <laughs> I need more shield damage abilities. That's a for sure thing. All right, we'll play that. And then we'll go ahead and we'll just uh, raise a shield and raise a shield. Just to get those things played, get it played. There we go. Man's got no health. Oh, God, he's going to be on the other side of my trap. Son of a bitch. 49. 40 freaking 9. I can't break that. Um, I can't break that as it, uh, as it stands. Let me see. If I move forward, would he please just step in my trap, man? Please just step in my damn trap. Raise shield. Raise all this shit. Get all my shields up. I guess I could have ate, ate it, but I don't want to trigger the trap if he's going to move into it. Thank you. Now he's weak. Now we move in for the kill. Actually, I don't know if we're going to kill him, but see, 15, 15. Nope, not, not quite enough. Uh, but we are going to deflect his his uh, attack, so it's not a loss or anything. There you go. Guard, pull that up. Hit me. Knock me back. Huff, puff. Perfect. We got him. We're going to move in. Mm, yeah, move in. And we're going to war cry. Let me see. We're going to raise our shield a little bit more. 30 damage coming in. Boom! Done! There it is. That's the first stage of the arena. Let me see. Hold on. Let me go pick my stuff. Roll. Uh, let's see. Jump attack. Razor sharp. I need more attack things. So move forward and deal 8 damage. Multiply total damage 1.5. The problem is it only works if you can move forward 1 and do damage. Um, I'm going to do final blow. This is a good card to keep. And I'll probably switch it. The first opportunity I get to red. Let's see. So health and then Max's bow. Increase damage by two. Uh, attack up to four tiles. Deal 1.25 damage. Power move. Shoot through multiple targets. Oh, interesting. And what does it say? And then what? And then draw one card for each enemy attacked. Rad. The only problem with the ranged weapons is they require, um, they require you to reload. So you have to basically spend one card or one energy in order to reload it. Uh, there are bracers and, and, and uh, accessories that you can do that will... Wait, equip weapons gain one each turn. Equip weapons cannot be swapped during fights. Oh, that's rad. Um, what do I currently have? I have wolf charm. Oh, one. Okay, yeah, never mind. Hesitation when you move. Well, that'd be a swap for that. Hmm. Start each fight. Reduce the cost of one random card in your hand to zero for the fight. Draw one card when you kill an enemy. What? Uh, I kind of like that. That makes for a very interesting, like chain, like chain attacks, basically. There we go. Yeah, if I got that, I would have to replace that wolf charm. I forgot that other charm. All right, so now it's going to shuttle us into the next stage. But for us, it is over. Actually, I'm going to record a couple more for you guys. Um, but uh, for today, we're done. And it's, it's just going to be probably this run. I don't know if I'm going to make it through this next one. But it's going to take another 45 minutes. So thank you guys for watching. My name is Mike B. A.K. Phony. The game is called Alina of the Arena. Like I said, this is a passion project game i love this game or a passion or a guilty pleasure whatever sorry um and yeah it's it's just a fucking fantastic little game <laughs> and it works great on the steam deck that's where i basically put all of my time into it so be sure to check it out small development team in taiwan and uh they did this game and another game but this one uh was the most recent one uh 2019 i think it was this one that came, came out so that's it my name is mike bka phony thank you so much for watching i'm gonna see you bye